Film festivals run all over the world, but audiences are changing the way that they watch film with the increased access to material online, illegal or otherwise. So film festivals have to fight to not only build an audience, but to retain the one they have. The Melbourne Queer Film Festival has enjoyed an incredibly loyal following over its 24 years, celebrating and exploring queer in all its form. This year, Melbourne Queer Film Festival will once again showcase the best of GLBTI contemporary cinema from Australia and around the world, with many of the films having made their mark on the international film festival circuit. I'm here at Coco Cabana Central Park, Sydney, with film director, producer and writer Daniel Rogers, whose short film, The Falsetta Jazz Club, has been selected for this year's Melbourne Queer Film Festival. Tell us a little bit about uh, Falsetta Jazz Club. Um, well, Falsetta Jazz Club is a story about um, a young teenager who's seduced into a homosexual cult uh, run by villainous drag queens. And it's really inspired by um, uh, the clubbing lifestyle and what a lot of teenagers go through uh, first stepping out onto the scenes of Oxford Street, Sydney. The film is very dark with its shots and its storyline. What is the reasoning behind this? Because um, most gay films that I've seen before always have... Uh, you know, end with a happy ending, or they're, they're more to um, tell the world that it's all okay, but I really wanted to show the world that uh, bad stuff does happen to good people, and, um, and you know, and just centering it around a uh, uh, gay teenager. Being the writer and director of the film, what problems did you run into, if any? Um, well, the biggest problem was that it was such a low-budget piece. So, uh, from script to screen, we ended up having to cut uh, five scenes. Um, uh, an actor dropped out during shooting. Uh, we also had we had to cut two scenes in the edit room because they didn't make any more sense, and then we had to reshot two more scenes. A lot of problems uh, had to be fixed in the edit room, which took over two years to fix. We're going to play a clip that you've described as your favourite. Uh, do you mind giving us some background into it? Okay, the clip is actually uh, one that we reshot, and we only had um, a couple of hours to shoot it, so. Uh, it was just sort of like this really uh, energy-paced um, set where like everybody was just working at their best and to uh, really make sure the magic happened on every single shot. And, it, uh, and from that, there were so many little, uh, tiny little ablibs that nobody will ever notice except me. And it, it just brings the, the film uh, up a notch in terms of uh, creative, oh, creativity. You probably have all the boys chasing you by now. Not exactly. So you fucked her yet? Is there anyone? I just want to get angry at these kids who start drinking at 10 and complain they haven't lost their virginity by 12. <laughs> LOL, bitch. LOL. I haven't seen you lately. Yeah, that's what the glasses are for. So what are you guys doing tonight? I got a gig in the matriarch. In drag. Popularity gets you everything. What the fuck is going on between you and Nothing. Cosmo? Nothing. Nothing. I like you, Lyndon. What's wrong, What's wrong What's with wrong? you? What's wrong with you? How did you feel when Falsetta Jazz Club got selected for the festival? Um, well, I was stoked, to be honest. Uh, it was actually great because the Melbourne Queer Film Festival was the very first festival I uh, entered the film into. So I was actually, um, it sort of uh, uh, set me off onto a win for the rest of the festivals. And now it's been entered into Melbourne Queer Film Festival. It's also gotten into uh, Bangalore and uh, Baltimore Queer Film Festival as well. So um, considering it's only the start of the year, I'm uh, interested to see what comes from it. Again, congratulations on your film being selected and thank you very much for today. Thank you very much for having me on Inside Out. Oi.
My name's Lyndon Davies. Yet view me like you would view any of these other rats. Although I don't hide in high heels and scamper over the used mascara of the city, I'm still better than any of you straight cunts. I can still love. And this is what the story's all about. Because before this month, I didn't even know what love was. The film festival is in Melbourne during March this year. If you'd like more information on the False Set at Jazz Club or the film festival itself, head to the address on the screen. I'm Andrew Tuck for Inside Out TV.